Hi, I'm Kendra Onik. And I'm Gia Ferrari, and you're watching the Boulay Brothers Dragula Titans Episode 7 Boo Mama! We want to thank all of you guys for sticking with us for five long years. We just hit 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> and we love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys. And to all of those that watch us and haven't subscribed, make sure you do so we can hit 5,000 subscribers. Because at 5,000 subscribers, me and Kendra will release together. We're going to each other, slip it in. Don't believe that. We're going to thank y'all again at 5,000. Back in the boudoir, the competitors are wondering who went home, either Hoso or Even. Mm -hmm. And we already know that neither one of them went home. Yeah, we already so know. So then Even, she walks in, she goes, dee -dee -dee -dee, and she starts giving like this. She puts her thespian yeah. hat on. She's like, yeah, I, you know, it was so hard seeing Hoso there. She said, as I looked at Hoso yeah. while we ascended the staircase of souls, <laughs> we heard the click and we just knew. We knew who it was. And, I was so and then Hoso walked in. But wait, before Hoso walked in, Coco, she was like, she was not buying that shit. She, she was. Coco says, save the tickets, I'm not buying. Girl, no. But then when Hoso walked in, she was like, I fucking knew it. Cause, I mean, I guess even if you go back to theater class, maybe. But she's a thespian. 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 But at the end of the day, we know neither one of them went home. Yes. They both survived, but we also know that it comes with consequences. So what does that mean? Do you mean? agree with both of them saying? Uh, no, somebody should have gone home. We talked about it last week. Somebody should have gone One or the other. I don't care. Just send one of them home. But it's not my decision. So what can we do? Did you know? Why can I get the double save? <laughs> Okay, so this week for the Fright Feet, they pretty much have to put a combination and a lock before they're submerged by the dirty ass, crusty ass, stank ass, stagnant ass water that probably smell like open booty. Would you have been able to do this? Um, honestly, so I can't swim for shit. I can't. Oh Lord. So really? I can't. There ain't no pools in the ghetto. Girl, when I was young, I almost drowned in the ocean. For real, for real? No, for real. My dad was like, he had me, and he was lifting me over like the waves, and then one opened up before it reached <gasps> us, and it went, ow. And ever since then, I hate water. I got rocked by a wave one time. Like, it, you know, I've always been a strong swimmer. My parents put me in swimming classes when I was young, so I've always been a strong swimmer. Privilege. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, you know, I'm being cute. And then I tried to go under the wave. That motherfucker crashed on my head. I flipped. Girl. Pants came off. I was butt ass naked at the beach. Butt ass. Dick out. Ass out. Coochie out. Oh, well, that water. It, it, that wasn't, it wasn't a coochie then, because, you know, it wasn't that so It was just now. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like I could have done this depending on how long they would have had held mm -hmm. in But um, I would have been able to do this. Yeah. They all did it. They opened the lock. Um, they didn't even need the combination because it's open on its own. And then they crawled out, soaked and wet, as my friend says. Soaked and or wet. Suck. So, okay. oh. Ooh. so they get back in the boudoir, and then Astrid and Melissa go to this side, and then the rest of the competitors go over here. So Victoria goes. So Eva, Astrid said you were being performative during your speech last week. How do you feel? Be a messy, mm -hmm. be a messy. So then Eva's trying to explain her case to everybody, and then it cuts to um, Melissa and Asher talking, and then Asher's all, I just don't want to be a part of the drama. I'm like over it. And Melissa's all, okay, girl, yeah. <laughs> and then she gets up and goes right into the drama, and Melissa's just like, girl, I can't do this no more. Yeah, and Melissa was like over it. She's just like, this is too much. Like, there's so much drama going on, and it's just like, whatever. And then, so then, um, I believe it was Coco that was just like, girl, let's just yeah. start our shit. And so they start their shit. So let's go ahead and get into this floor show. And the main challenge for this week was Deep Sea Monster. Which was one of my favorite challenges. Okay, so what would you have done? Was my concept came from the Fangtooth Moray Eel. 
mixed with Melina, mixed with, there's a Haitian deity called Mami Wata, or La Serien, and in her research. Yeah, I, I surely did. Well, like I said, all of all of my looks were very African, black based. So she's like, you know, a deity or whatever, and she snatches eyes out of people's faces, grants wishes, or it depends how you treat her. You okay. know what I mean? And the fang tooth Mori Il has like a mouthful of teeth, and they're like glass. They look like glass, so I would have stoned all my teeth, and then I would have had a, my mouth all the way open. I would have had a little shell or a harp. Girl, I was gonna go in. Dang. And I had like a tail, a long ass freaking silicone tail. Okay. I was about to go in, big old afro with the braids coming down. You know, something cute with a little veil. You know, something just a little cute. So, something to go to the target. Slimy, you know. So the first creature to call to the land is Hoso Teratoma. And what'd you think about her look? Hoso Teratoma, you know I love you. You know I do. I did not like this look at all. Oh. I, at all? At all. Not one bit. Nothing. I, not a thing. Okay, I, I lied. I liked the, like, prosthetic stuff that she had on the outfit itself. Okay. It was cute. But it just, I don't know. So, like, the top part was like a little, like a dress. Yes. And, it wasn't like. But the fabric was. was like wrinkling. I wish it would have been more skin tight to her. Because you could tell that it was like a dress. Yeah. And then she had some, some like, like the boulet said, pants and high heels on. They were just kind of like an afterthought. Yes. This, to me, I, oh, do you know what a hagfish is? I looked it up, so yeah. Okay, it's so like a worm. that doesn't look like a hagfish to me. Um, she did get the slime. They slime a lot. And the little teeth. But other than that, <sighs> even I don't like, see hagfish on this. Even like the teeth, did, the, to me it looked like Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. Well, because they, like they, the they, it's like the thing comes out. At, I get what she was doing. Uh, I get it okay. because she explained it. But if I saw it without the explanation, yeah. I wouldn't have got it. Yeah, and then like the 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 inside of the yes, skirt, you can that see that bothered me. The inside of the back of the skirt is just it's not untreated. It's, yeah, it, she didn't paint it. Nothing. It's just like there. Yeah. For me, I appreciated the slime. I appreciated the tail. Overall, this look for me. Uh, I don't want to do this to her. It, I, it has to. I'm sorry. I, too, also as well, I'm going to have to give it also two, two thumbs down. I just, it wasn't for me. Uh, yeah. It I'm just, feeling. I don't know. It just uh, it left a lot to be desired. So next up, we have Ostrich Aurelia. And what did you think? <laughs> sorry, I should have prepared you before. <laughs> I think Ostrich did good. She was able to do her her drag cloaca weirdo thingy mm -hmm. and then still meet the challenge. But it reminded me of Futurama. Which I've seen. I forgot the squid's name. Uh, Zoidberg? Yeah, Dr. Zoidberg. Dr. Zoidberg. Hold up. That's Dr. A, Zoidberg. I knew that shit because I used to watch Futurama because my brother loved it. It's not a movie, but okay. It's a TV show. From Matt Groening, who was the creator of The Simpsons. Oh, okay. So she watched TV shows. And then. I played the. So you watch TV drama. shows? Are we doing two? We could do TV shows. You know, I, I watch watched, a lot of things. I watched quite a few TV shows. But I feel like this is Doctor Zoidberg that took like a whole eight bottom. Oh. Like it was so. I don't. I don't understand why it was so twitchy. Like when I, cause I do watch a lot of nature shows. It's my secret, my deepest, darkest secret. When I was younger, I never wanted anyone to know that because they would call me a nerd, but. Nerd. Octopi and squids are very ethereal. They're very flowy when they're in the water. And I don't know what. <laughs> Girl. Uh, yeah, Ostrich was moving around like a uh, demented something. She was like a rapid octopus or something, but. Yes. I did love this look. It was very, um, excuse my Mexicanness. Kraken? 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 Kraken. Um, the Kraken, you know. It was very that. Kraken, um, like your lips. It actually, I put lip gloss on so they're no longer Kraken, okay. 
Oh, it was very oily. so. There's a video game. You know, I love video games. Tomb Raider Underworld, the very first level. Um, no, the sec one of the levels, the Thailand level. There's a big kraken that you gotta, you know, incapacitate. Um, that's what it reminded me of with clothes. And so it was like she came out. She's like, you know, oh, you know what this was? Ariel from the Little Mermaid. If she was a kraken coming into the sea. You never even seen Little Mermaid. Suck Prince Eric's you, dick. you cannot say you cannot make reference to the movies you ain't seen. Shut I ain't the never fuck seen up. It. I have not seen Little Mermaid. But this is like Ursula's dude. How about that? Okay. With the beat. Oh, I forgot. What? You haven't seen it. So you know Ursula's the octopus. Yeah. Okay, at least Poor you know. Poor unfortunate that. souls. Poor unfortunate souls in pain. In need. But I mean, you know, it was cute. This is good. I, I give it two thumbs up. I'm going to give it uh, one thumb up. What? No, one and a half. No. Girl. One and, no, you don't like me three quarters. No, that's bullshit. One and a half. This is good. From the top to the bottom, this is a fully realized concept. Yes, the twitchiness was annoying, but whatever. What I did like about it is that I feel, little old Kenneth, little old Kendra, that these are the same tentacles that she was gonna use on season four for the ghost ship. Because she posted that picture. And you cannot tell me those are not the same ones. I'm gonna stick to one and a half. I'm still gonna give this two. Okay. So next up we have Miss Coco Kane. And how do you feel about her look? Um, I liked the androgyny of it, mm -hmm. the very gender bend. It was, I like the silhouette. But I do agree with the bullets that it was missing something to really make it known that it was like an underwater sea king. Like a trident or a spear. I disagree. Or some bubbles. I feel like this is literally like the black version of King Triton. That's 100% that's what I got. I mean, Coco had the sea moss. She had the... Help. Thingies, fins, okay. the fins, if you will. And I mean, I didn't get much seahorse from it, but I did get under the sea. Under the sea, under the you sea. You can't sing songs that you don't know where they're from. That's not fair. That's she has never seen Little Mermaid. She knows it's from Little Mermaid. She hasn't seen it. Okay. But I, I do like this look. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's like. It's hot to me. I do like the it's look. Hot. It was definitely hot. I feel a tingle in my pingle. Yeah, I also felt a tingle in my pingle. I thought it, it was definitely, it, it was, you know, uh, rubbing me the right way. Okay. This could have been like, um, this could have been anything. It could have been a volcanic thing. It could have been from the forest. Even with the fins, even with the everything. It was just, it was missing a little bit. I mean, I've never seen anything with fins come out of a volcano, but. You never know. Work. You can, nothing comes out of a volcano because you die. What, well, lavin? You can make it up yourself. Lavin? Lavin. I'm gonna give this look one and one half thumb up. I'm gonna give it. Oh my God, is this the first time I'm not gonna give her two thumbs? No, I'm gonna give Coco two thumbs. I'm sorry, I have, I have to. I feel like, for me, Little old Kendra, little old Kenneth Hampton, that from head to toe, this is a look. You might not like the I look, mean, but this look. is a look. And she has the horse mane, and then you look at the makeup, the makeup draws you into the middle. The like, makeup was bomb. The makeup's there, I mean, it's Coco. The makeup is stamped. And then there's the fins on the shoulders. I liked, like the the chest plate. The chest plate is good. Yeah, it was good. And then she has the fins right here. I mean, how many more fins do you need to know that this is aquatic? Two more. So next up we have Miss Victoria Elizabeth Black. What did you B -B. think? B-E-B. What did you think of Miss B-E-B? It was a lot. This was a quintessential monster. It was a sea monster from head to toe. The best part for me were the little... The teeth, mm -hmm. I thought that was so cool. But, it's like, for me, Lil' Kendra, Lil' Kenneth Hampton, it's the same critique from season two. Who are you? This could be 
anyone in a movie. You know what I mean? It's yeah. great. Don't get me wrong. The sculpture is great. The look is great. But this could be any any extra in a movie. Where is Victoria Elizabeth Black in this? Yeah. Where is I put this craftsmanship against that zombie? Like that zombie had so much character. It wasn't just a zombie. It was a zombie with like brains in the hair, and then the dress was flipped inside. Where's that artistry in this? Yeah, this this actually reminded me a lot of her alien look from season two. One hundred. Where it was just she was an alien, and here she was a sea monster. It it didn't have like you said any character. It was it wasn't Victoria Black. It was a sea monster no. that she created. But. Um, what I didn't like about this outfit, even though it was a, it was a strong special effects look, I didn't like that her, like, you could see where the, the sleeve of the bodysuit ended. Yes. You could see where it ended at the ankle before it turned into her webbed flippers. I mean, that's, you, those are technicalities. Yeah. For me, I could see where she stopped painting right here. Mm-hmm. That bothered me. Yeah, it was, yeah. I did like that she used, I mean, she she said she used real porcupine, uh, what are they called? Spines? Spines, needles. Quills? Quill, quills. Porcupine quills. Quills! Um, I did like that, because I'm like, who, who thinks of that? Who goes to the Victoria store? Victoria Elizabeth Black. She I'm goes, sure she didn't go to the store. She went to the jungle, or wherever porcupines live, and she went, clack, 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 clack. And she took that shit. She took them. Um, she killed the porcupine. It was a very strong special that. effects look, but for Dragula and like, to me, like, where was the drag element to it? She had on lashes. Okay, she had on lashes. Good for her. Congratulations, she did the bare minimum. I'm gonna give her one thumb down. Dang! I'm giving her one thumb up. Okay, that equates to a half. That equates to zero. <laughs> okay, so Gia finally watched Black Panther, the second one. So she's been saying Kukul Khan, which is noir, like the whole time. So next up we have Miss Melissa. Bivias up in here. Um, this is my introduction. Next up, we have Melissa. And what do you think about her look? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I liked Melissa's look. Mm -hmm. I liked the like long tendrils. Tendrils that she had. Tendrils. The fins like looked really cool before the lights came on. Like how it was like see through transparent. Mm -hmm. I actually like the dress. I think you know the fabric was a little you know on the nose. Go to on the nose, but I think this whole look was cool. I think she should have stuck to. Instead of doing the prosthetic, because you could tell those were like these nails, nails but longer. You could tell because we all, we've all done it. You do nails for teeth. Yeah. Um, either she should have done something to make it look a little less like just nails, or she should have just done straight up beauty makeup. I really liked this look. Um, I feel a little me, a little Kendall. That they've been telling Melissa, we want to see you. We want to see you, mm -hmm. Deadly Beauty, Melissa, and she gave them that 100%, and they were not ready to eat it, mm -hmm. which I don't understand. I mean, for me, I don't, I don't like the mermaid gown in the bottom. I don't. Okay. But this look overall, it, it's it. Like the scales. The crown of scales, the tendrils, the long nails, the hair on the back, just the cu Melissa's face alone. She looked great. I think, yeah, maybe instead of the mermaid gown, she could have done something a little different. I do like the tendrils. I like like the just the basic silhouette of it. Um, she looked like a, an underwater like goddess. Goddess. Yeah, she looked. She looked great. like a goddess. That's. Kukulkan. A Kukulkan's wife. Yeah, mm -hmm. Then our wifey? That's uh, his wifey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, That's the mistress. I think the only thing I would have... Because I think that other girl was trying to be Kukulkan's man. Did you not think that? The one that was like the lionfish? I think did, the only thing... Did you get thing... that she was a lionfish? No. I think the only thing that I would have really changed is just like the the mouth prosthetic to make it look either a little more realistic or just completely remove it altogether. Mama. 
It look, I think it looks good. I really do. I think it looks good. I like it. One thumb for me. Love you, Melissa. One thumb for me. So next up we have Miss Eva Destruction. What you think of Miss Eva? Now this must have been one of the many faces that everybody was talking about of Eva. Because this was so fucking good. I mean, when she was like in the thingy, it did look like a gumball machine to me. Oh. Okay. It looked like a gumball machine underground or under the water. But who cares? Who gives a fuck? But then the little hand came out. She was like, come little children. Hocus Pocus. Slice. Oh my God. So it, it was beckoning me there. And then she opened up and it was I love this from head to toe. I will say. Head to toe. H-T. This look was spectacular. This look was really, really good. Yeah, when she first came out, I was like, okay, like interesting silhouette. And then she was like, ooking and <laughs> spooking. Girl, I'm trying to talk. Calm your ass. I ain't in your mouth. I really just, I loved the way she was like teasing her oh, yeah. way out. And then she finally like revealed, and this makeup I thought was like on point. It was. Girl, okay, when she was doing her makeup in the boudoir, I thought like the line, like it was clean. Like it was like straight lines. It was amazing. The gills on her cheeks, the teeth, everything, the blue. The only thing that I personally myself would have changed a little bit was I feel like her hair was a little too. Absolutely not. I thought it was a little that too. That hair was it. Her hair was Dahlia good. Black made the hair, which she's made a couple of mine pieces. Dahlia Black, follow her on Instagram right over here. Yeah. I don't think the but, hair was bad. I just feel like the hair should have been, uh, I think it should have been a little different. Uh, how different? What um, would you have done? Maybe I would have made it look just a little more wet. It just looked a little too... For me, a little too clean, a little too polished for this. Girl, everybody has look. been talking about Victoria's prosthetics, Victoria this, Victoria that all season. You cannot clock a seam on Eva's prosthetics. I didn't say nothing about her prosthetics. Uh, I, I said everybody. I didn't oh, say you. Oh, okay. Sorry. I am everybody. Correct. I'm Some people. Everybody. She's right. Some people. Some, Some people. No. But I mean, she had gills right here. She had gills in the throat. She was a siren. I loved this look from H to T. I this was it. Too. I loved it from hairline to T. Her hair, okay. Child. I don't want to say that her hair was bad or terrible. I just, I personally would have changed it a little bit to make it look a little more monstrous. I thought it was a little too clean for my personal taste, which clearly I have none, apparently. But I'm still going to give this a what? One of these. Yeah, this was great. This it was, was great. A this really was good. You clear, can't talk anything on this. Clear, clear, it, clear top for me. Clear. 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 Crystal. So during judgment, the placements were Astrid and Victoria were safe. Mm -hmm. Hoso was low. Mm -hmm. The bottom two were Coco and Melissa, mm -hmm. which means. The winner, Eva wins. The winner was Eva, which I completely agree with. She def she like slaughtered this. Yeah. Absolutely. She was it, it was a no. This was a, was a no brainer. Yeah. Um do you, however, agree with the bottom two? I don't or Melissa. I, I do you? not. I don't either. I feel like Hoso should have been in the bottom two. I feel like for me, personally myself, little Gio Ferrari, little Sergio Estrada, I feel like Hoso. Oh, I that feel was like, the first time you ever said your government. Uh -huh. I feel like Hoso was actually, for me, the weakest look of the night. Yes. Weakest look. That could have been the twist, and they could have just sent Hoso home. Girl. Because I feel like everybody else was, was you know, Mids. fine or better. But I feel like Hoso, for me personally, I just, I didn't like the look. I'm sorry. I didn't like it either. And I, I normally like Hoso's looks. And I did not like this look at all. Oh, I didn't. So I was a little shook that she was just low, not in the bottom. But ultimately the bottom were Coco and Melissa. So then we get to the cauldron. My whole alliance is in the bottom. Girl, 
we get to the cauldron and Melissa right away we see her say, you know what? If I'm in the bottom, if I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go home with a bang. So this season for Titans, we have to hash it out in the cauldron, which is new to myself, it's new to Melissa, it's new to Victoria, Erica, and Abora. You know what I mean? So this is where it goes down. I don't like you, I don't like what you did, and you go hear my mouth. And did they hear Melissa's mouth? Oh, they heard it all right. Melissa was going off. She was saying, you're two-faced, you're two-faced. I don't like you when you do this and blah, 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 and I'm tired of it and this, that, and the other. I don't feel like Melissa was lashing out because she thought she was going home. I felt like Melissa was lashing out because she was fed the fuck up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I get it. Been there. We did that. We know where I went. So, I get it. I, I can feel her, and I feel like she's 100% valid. I also, you know, her feelings are definitely valid, but for me as a viewer, and I wasn't, you were there. I was. The first few weeks, I wasn't there. So. <laughs> but I was there. You were there. So, I don't know what it's like to, you know, be constantly hearing all this drama and all this shit, and all this kaflamba, no. but... Um, for me, like, I don't know. I feel, again, I wasn't there. I don't want to invalidate her thoughts and opinions and feelings and stuff. But I felt like it, it wasn't, I feel like the, the whole Two-Face thing for me wasn't, I didn't see it. But again, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Because I feel like, okay, so if you and David over there are in the bottom and I'm telling you, you know, I don't want you to go home and then I tell David, like, your look was the best. I don't think that's being two-faced. I'm just saying, your look was the best, but I don't want you to go home. That's the truth. I don't feel like things are black and white. I feel like, you know. False, that's not what happened. What happened was, it. what was said was, I feel like you're not gonna go home. Like, from top to bottom, this was it. You were, you were everything tonight. You go away. Boom. Girl, you're not gonna go home. I do not want you to go home. You're a cunt, you're this, you're that. Is that not, that's what happened. I mean, again, I wasn't there. I'm just going off. I'm you telling know. you what happened. Okay. Everybody's perception is their reality. You know what I mean? So, my experience is not gonna be your experience. It's not gonna be your experience. It's not gonna be your experience. Melissa was speaking on how Melissa felt and how also me, Melissa, and Coco had gained a bond and you know we vented to each other we confided in each other so it's like at the end of the day i'm gonna have your back and your feelings are gonna rub off on me more than said mm -hmm. gold bond over here that i don't talk yeah. to and again i don't want to invalidate melissa's feelings she has every right to feel the way she did you know i don't know what she was going through with you know and then like on top of the competition yeah she had the husband stuff going on yeah. and god knows what i mean i do i know what but i'm not you know i'm not yeah. gonna and so, air my friend's dirty laundry I'm at not, the end of the I'm day i'm not gonna do that melissa like she she had enough she quit she said fuck she been to the crimped herself she said fuck this shit i'm out and she walked out and she was crying and it was very emotional. What bothered me is that everybody wants to call this a sisterhood, which it is, but if I see my sister in pain and I see my sister walk out crying, saying she's over it, saying I don't know what to do, I'm gonna go out and talk to her. Mm -hmm. And the only person that got out of their seat was Coco. But I also feel like, I, I, don't, I don't remember who it was, if it was Victoria or Eva or one of them said like, I don't know what else I could tell her to make her feel a little bit better. It was Hoso. Hoso, so I understand. But I sometimes you don't need well. to say anything. Sometimes True. it's just like, some honestly, it's, sometimes it's just a touch. Yeah, it really sometimes is. it's just a look. Sometimes it's just a presence. So I feel like if everybody would have surrounded Melissa with love, it would have been a different outcome. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, what happened happened and Melissa was just too overwhelmed and she quit. And do you... I, I don't want to say what I really feel because I'm, it's gonna it's not gonna be nice. All right. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> so it is what it is. Uh, so Melissa's out. 
Mm-hmm. I did like that she still did the falling into the pits of What I will hell. say, Melissa is the only one that fell fully clothed. She sure did. She fully did. clothed. She had every, every single spine um, on. Everything. Every fin, yeah, every teeth. wig, Girl. every teeth. Shit, she might have had her fucking heels on still. Girl. Melissa ain't gonna let you see her less than. I will tell you that. She did. And... Because I have been in I have been in the car with Melissa after a gig and she fell asleep like this. In the front seat, she's home. Oh my god. I'm I'm so <laughs> all the, from Pomona to LA, that's like a 45 minute drive. Uh-huh. She was in the front like this. I love Melissa Be Fierce. She is a fierce performer. She was a fierce competitor on season one and on Titan. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know... She's gonna be missed. Yeah. She's gonna be missed. Definitely. And, it, you know, she decided to go on her own terms. She said, as she said, Melissa B. Fears out. She descended to the depths of hell. <laughs> but, I mean, at least me and Melissa are together now. Yes. You guys are falling for eternity. So, Buttercup and Bubbles. That leaves Blossom. <gasps> okay, I didn't think you was gonna get that. Girl, <laughs> that leaves Blossom. Mm. But Melissa is gone, unfortunately, and it's sad to see her go, but we got only a few episodes left. We're it's on- very sad to see Melissa go, but if you guys want to see more of Melissa, follow her Twitter and her Instagram. Dick out. Mm. Dick out. More of Melissa. So that was the episode. What did you guys think of this very drama filled episode? Did you guys agree with the elimination? Did you guys agree with judging? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know in the comments below. We read every single one of them. Make sure you hit the little bell so that when we post a new video, you guys are alerted. Subscribe, like, do what you gotta do. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on all our socials down below. Every single one of them. Okay? Shut up! (laughs) And before we finish, we actually, since we're coming to the end of the season. So bad. No, We want to actually continue. You feel like this? Yeah, we want to just go beyond just because you, you guys know us. We're always like, yeah, we're going to do stuff. And then the Dragula ends and we disappear. Don't, no, is. we did the Q&A. We did do one Q&A, a couple Q&As. I but feel, did we do one or two? We did a couple. What we wanted to I feel to like do, we did one and then I did a Reddit one. Right? Mm-hmm. You did a two. Uh, AMA. That's two. So what we want to do is we want to continue making videos. And we're thinking, since I ain't never watched it. She ain't watched shit. So we want to do a whole, like, you know, watch with us kind of thing. Watch with me, because clearly Kendra's seen everything. Yeah. I ain't never Not seen everything. It. I just recently saw The Exorcist. I've, I've seen part, like, the, I was scared. I was like 10, and I've seen like 15 minutes of it. That shit ain't even scary. Anyway, so we definitely we want to do a series where, where we watch movies, most of them for my first time, and then we just talk. All of them for her <laughs> first time. Most of well, them girl. for well, Okay, all of them for her first time. Some of them for my first time. So list some movies, list some classics. Whatever you guys want us to watch, we will watch. And all genres, not just all hell. Yeah, and so after Dragula ends, that's what we're gonna do. That's what, we're, you know, we're gonna do it. I'm not gonna say hopefully, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Y'all are gonna say I love this. movies, mm-hmm. you know this. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming.